How do you uh, define what the problem is and figure out what, uh, what the solutions can be? It's a process of um, investigations to determine what the nature and extent of your release of chemicals is, and then it's processes to study how to affect a cleanup, and then ultimately uh, you put in the cleanup systems necessary to, to complete your cleanup. We went through really a decade or two of investigations where we, we went out looking for where the chemicals were in the soil and in the deep groundwater. And uh, once we've defined where those chemicals are, we can, uh, we can go about putting in treatment to, to take care of those chemicals. We're talking about levels that are at the part per billion level but still above state and federal drinking water standards for some of the chemicals. An important part of a process like this that um, many technical people don't think of first as being important, but it's just as important as your technical solution is your public acceptance. If you don't work with your neighbors and work with your stakeholders such that they understand and trust what it is that you're trying to do, that the best technical solution it may not be allowed to be implemented. We have all the final treatment plants in place now and operating. We've been at this pumping and treating groundwater for over a decade now, and we estimate we have about 14 or 15 years left to do that. We'll be done when the groundwater that's left in the ground no longer requires cleanup, that it is uh, clean enough to be served to people as drinking water without any um, without any treatment plant anymore.